Hey, it's Joseph from LearnSketch.com, and today I'm actually recreating a tutorial that I made, I want to say like three years ago, showing how to create these radial progress bars in Sketch and making them mathematically accurate without actually having to do any math ourselves. Sketch is going to do all the heavy lifting. So let's jump in. All right, so I'm going to start completely from scratch here, and I'm going to start by creating a circle, which I'm going to do by pressing O to select the oval tool, and then clicking and dragging holding shift to create a perfect circle, as opposed to an oblong oval. And uh, here we have it, we just need to get rid of the fill, and then turn on the border, and I'm going to make that border much, much thicker. So I'm just using shift and the arrow up key to nudge this value, we'll go up to 40, and uh, now I'll just kind of set a style here and get a, get a color dialed in. I'm just going to brighten this up a bit. There we go. And now the trick to turning this into a radial progress bar instead of just a circle is to use the little gear icon here, the little cog wheel, to expand the settings that include a dashed line setting. So what we're really doing here is creating a dashed line with one gigantic dash. And to ensure that we have one dash and not a bunch of dashes, we're going to set the gap to a super high number. I'm just going to do 9,999 just to make that gap nice and big. And now, whatever we set our dash to, our dash is going to be the one and only dash on the circle. And uh, if we go far enough, it's going to look like a radial progress bar. So if I hold shift and drag the dash, the word dash, um, I can create this bar to be as large or as small as I want it to be. Pretty cool. And to fix those harsh corners, we can just switch the end cap from a blunt end cap to a rounded end cap. And you'll see here that it kind of rounded it funny. It looks like only the inside edge is rounded. That's because I have an inner border going on here. So if I do a centered border, then the rounded end caps are centered. If I do an outside border, then the rounding is only on the outside. So that, that can be your own artistic decision. Uh, but I'm personally going to leave it on centered. And now let's take a look at how to be mathematically accurate and create a radial progress bar that actually represents a value like a percentage or something like that. Because most of the time, there's probably going to be some data that we're trying to visualize here. So here's an example where I've already got this number, 64%, and I want the radial progress bar or slider to represent exactly 64% mathematically. This requires some math to be done, but we're not going to do the math ourselves. We're actually going to have Sketch do the math for us, which is really cool. A lot of these fields in Sketch on the inspector uh, accommodate mathematical formulas. So here where the dash is, what we're going to do, because it's 64%, we're going to type 0.64 to represent that 64%. So then we're going to multiply 0.64 times the size of our circle. Now, because it's a perfect circle, the width and height are the same, in this case, 454 pixels. So I'll type 454. And then, because this number is the diameter of the circle, for those of you who paid attention in grade school, we can multiply by pi to get the circumference of the circle. So I'm going to type another little asterisk here to multiply by pi. And we can actually just type pi for pi. Sketch understands what that means, which is really cool, kind of mind-blowing. And I'll hit return. And there we have it. It turns out that the correct number is 912.82, which I never would have known if we didn't do that math formula. So now you're essentially done. Uh, it's just a matter of dressing this up however you want. And one thing I want to point out uh, before we finish here is if I were to scale this circle, uh, you'll notice that the dash size stays the same even though the circle gets larger, which means the dash doesn't go all the way around to represent 64% accurately anymore. So I'm going to undo that. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with scale versus just resizing something, there's a scale button on the toolbar. And if you click scale, you can, for example, nudge the scale up and you'll see that the circle is getting larger, but it's not actually breaking our math formula because when we type 160% in here, not only does it get 160% of its original size, but it also refactors all the math for all the properties on the inspector. So I'll click scale and then if I wanted to refactor my uh, width for the border here, get it back to 40, then I can do so and I don't have to redo any of that math. It's still totally as accurate as it was before. 
That's it. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button to make this video easier to find for other folks who might be looking for it. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're not already enrolled in my Sketch from A to Z course on Udemy, I will put a big fat discount link in the description below. So if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and grab that link. All right, see you soon. Yeah.